everyone, this is Heather from WeddingsByHeather.com, where my goal is to equip you with the best techniques and tips to make you a better and more efficient photographer. In this video, we are going to take a look at presets inside of Lightroom, but first, make sure you check out my free workflow video series available on my website. I enjoy playing around with presets inside of Lightroom, which are essentially a set of predefined settings in order to get you to a desired state. But mostly I like to create my own. So in this video, what I'd like to do is show you how to create a film preset for your photo. Let's begin by dialing in some settings in the basic panel. I'm going to start by bringing down the exposure a little bit, up on the contrast, down on the highlights, down on the vibrance just a little bit. That's all I'm going to do in the basic panel. I'm going to head into the tone curve. I'm going to pull up on my highlights, up on my lights, significantly up on my darks, and just down a little bit in my shadows. But then what I'm going to do in, inside of the tone curve is click this icon in order to edit my curve. And I'm going to come into this curve manually and grab this point and drag it up in order to further bring up the shadow areas. I'm going to grab this point at the top and pull it down just a little bit. And right about here, I'm going to pull up. So what I'm doing, let me go ahead and turn that off and then on is just creating this low contrast look that is reminiscent of film. Obviously, you can tweak these settings to your taste when creating your own preset. I might even grab a point right about here and pull down just a little bit to give it a little bit different of a look. Then I'm going to go into the split toning panel and I'm going to put my hue for my highlights around 50 and bring up the saturation a little bit. And then I'm going to bring up my shadows, the hue. I'm going to take that to about 300 and I'm going to bring up that saturation. And then what you can do is sort of tweak the balance of this image. So the highlights are going to take you to there and the shadows are going to take you to there. And you could just play around until you get a tonality that you like for your photo. And what I'd like to do at this point is look at my overall before and after by pressing my backslash key. Remember, that's the key that leans to the left. It's above your enter return key. There's my before and there's my after. And I love this vintage film look and it's really trendy right now, but I would be careful not to do this to all of your photos or many of your photos because it will date itself in a few years, but it's just kind of fun to play around and tweak these settings inside of Lightroom. When I'm happy with this photo, what I'm going to do is come over here into presets, click the plus button in order to create my own preset. So I might name this vintage film, for instance. And even though I didn't make changes to all of the settings, I'm going to go ahead and click check all and then create. And so now I have this vintage film preset. So when I go to another photo, I can simply click it in order to get this effect. For instance, I might choose to change this photo to a vintage film look, but you'll notice it didn't work as well on this photo. And that's because every photo is different and the shooting circumstances are different, but it could give you a good place to start. You might just want to pull down a little bit more on the exposure and then tweak the settings to your taste. I hope that you found this useful. I'll see you in the next video.